entire life. Yeah. Um, you know, I um, you know I come from a bit of an indie background. I mean, I say indie, but like my first books were with were, were Dark Horse. You know, so it's still yeah. like top five. You know, but um, you know, God Country was the first book that really gave me. Uh, I got a lot of uh, attention for, and it was very unexpected. Uh, my partner that I, I do that book with, Jeff Shaw, we've done two books prior to that, um, and while they were like critically very kind of um, uh, well regarded, uh, they didn't sell for shit or anything, you know. And so, yeah, none of us were expecting God Country to do what it did, and. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, it, there's a lot of things that I can't talk about right now right. Uh, that we'll be finding out about next month that you'll understand why I mean uh, that it changed my life. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 it put me on a lot of people's um, radars. Well, that is, you probably say with Nightmare, you couldn't answer that, but let's say with the next thing where people were asking, people were almost disappointed to see that. I don't know why, but the information wasn't really out there that God Country was a new series. And then it was like when people found out, there was a, a sense of disappointment. Mm -hmm. I, because, and, which is a compliment to you because people love it so much. Right. But, uh, and so that was my next question. Is, you know, I know there have been talk about optioning or uh, another series. Uh -huh. but, but that's, I meant that's what's next down the pike. Uh, for that book? Yeah. No, uh, the last issue comes out You're next already. next week, and that's it. That's it. Done for. Done for. Right. Move on. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we, you know, Jeff and I pitched that book as six issues. Yep. And um, we we had something to say. We had like a, 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 a I don't know. We kind of had a statement that we wanted to make, and it was only ever going to be six issues. Uh, again, we never knew that it was going to be this thing that it turned into. Um, so you know, image. Uh, came to me after the first issue kind of popped off and uh, came to uh, my uh, my buddy and the art team and me, I should say, and, um, you know, asked us if we wanted to keep on doing it, if we wanted to turn it into it and, you know, keep it going. Um, and we had a big, long talk about it, and uh, no, and Like, we just, it, it's, um, yeah, it was already, it's, it's doing a thing, and it, it's, it's 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 hard to talk about, but I think once people read issue six, they'll they will put issue six down and they will be glad that there's no more of it. That there that we 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 told a, a complete thing, and I think that certain stories lend lend themselves to being these like huge you know sagas, if you will, um, and I think that. Uh, also, at the same, on the other side of that, I think that some of the best books ever made are six issues long. Right. You know, I mean, uh, Year One, uh, Dark Knight Returns, Kingdom Come, you know, these are all books that are just always around that you can just hand somebody and be like, dude, just, just, just read this. Like, this is a full, full thing, full story, you know? And especially, especially with God Country, anyone who's read it knows that it's not about a magic sword. It just, it's not what it's about at all, right? So to keep the story going, it, it would have just turned into a story about an old man fighting monsters with an old, with a big sword. And that's just so not what we're interested in, in, in doing. If we had a, a thing that we wanted to say about, about um, well, you'll see. Yeah. Read it. Yeah, okay. but yeah, no more. Um, no, I, 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 I can, personally, I can appreciate that. A lot of people have a hard time leaving the money on the table and leaving it done when it's done. Well, the thing is, dude, there's always money. Right, there's always something. There's else. always, I mean, the, the money, I, if I wanted, if I got into this for the money, I, I, I wouldn't have gotten into comics, right. first of all. Um, but that being said, like, just because there's no more God Country doesn't mean that Jeff Shaw and I aren't doing a bunch of other shit. That was another thing I was going to ask, is you guys, your collaboration, the yeah. chemistry is there. We have, Jeff and I are booked up for the next two years. Okay. We have two projects, one that will be announced next month, and one that will be announced uh, early next year, both of which are pretty big. Okay, so what, next month, any hint on company, or? Uh, I, no, I can't say, yeah. just, just uh, San Diego Comic-Con. San Diego Comic-Con. Just, uh, be ready. you'll know it when you, when you see it, I would imagine. So the, the next thing I was going to ask is, everybody's talked about you as one of the big two mm -hmm. at some point. Um, would you have a preference between the two, or is there an off character you would love to write? Um, you know, I, I, my career is so kind of young. You know, I, I've I've really only 
Like, I've been doing this for, like, seven or eight years, but I've only, people have only really known who the hell I am for six months or so. So, to answer your question in a very vague way where I'm not really answering it, um, I'd like to work for everybody. I'd love, I'd love to have a very long, cool career where I get to jump around and play and, you know, go and put a little, put, put my little fingerprints all over everything. You know, um, uh, I, I will say this, I'll, I'll give you this one. Uh, there is this, there, I have, I have two characters out there that are, uh, like dreams, dream characters. And, uh, one of them is this, is this, uh, is this kid named Peter who lives in Queens. Okay. Uh, who sometimes puts on a costume and yep. shoots webs around. And, and then there's, and then there's this one girl out in California who slays, who, uh, slays vampires. Uh, both of those, uh, I, I, I would, I would kill. Right. Okay. Um, other than that, though, but those are just dreams. I'm not giving you a scoop. No, I, I'm I, not. I, <laughs> in fact, I can categorically tell you I'm not writing right. no either of those posts. Headline. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> writing Spider-Man. I promise you. I, dude, if I was writing Spider-Man, I couldn't keep that a secret. I would just stone cold tell you. <laughs> so, and then, really, the last question was the, uh, the variants for Baby Teeth. Mm -hmm. Baby Teeth came out with a lot of variants that were really well received in the market. Right. What is your kind of role in that? How do you feel about like a number of variants coming out, store exclusives and things like that? Right. So, you know, I mean, Baby Teeth really only had one true variant. It was the, the tour. So it's the, cover the main cover by Gary Brown, and then it had the cover B by, uh, by Torque. Um, and all the rest of them were our retailer uh, uh, exclusives, yeah. right? Um, so to me, that that that's a little bit different than just flooding the market with you know a, a thousand different copies of the same thing for retailers to get. Um, you know, I, I used to run a bunch of comic book shops myself, and I I think it would be cool to have my own like my my own shops. You know, that's uh, like literally my dream. Yeah, my own shops. Area. Yeah, that would that would be cool. You know.